Our biggest sector of activity remains uh, placement, model placement. So we, um, I guess we, we have like several types of models. So we have really our high fashion models that usually we try to send internationally as there's not that much fashion work here in Switzerland. And then we have more our commercial markets because this is more the, the, the market for us. So we have our commercial models, which vary from like six months to 85 years. So we place them for whether it's insurance companies or um, um, grocery stores or pharmaceutical companies. And um, so yeah, so we really, we really tend to focus on, on placing these different, uh, these different models. As soon as we find a model that's really great, we, uh, we send them internationally where they can really, you know, get top jobs. Because it's true in Switzerland, we're limited with the amount of fashion jobs that we do have. So for example, Flora, one of our um, models that did the course, um, like three years ago, four years ago, she then we sent her first to Paris and then she went to Spain, to China, to Greece. Um, so she's been traveling internationally for the last uh, three years. She loves it. She's booked a lot of great jobs. Um, she did recently, uh, a couple weeks ago, Max Mara in, uh, in Milan, which is huge and um, has done shows, has done a lot of, a lot of shoots, a lot of top magazines. She was in Elle, China. She, uh, she was in Men's Health for, uh, for, um, for the Netherlands and also for Spain. So she plays thing. We have Celebi that's, uh, that's right now in Cape Town. That's also, uh, you know, booking jobs. So it's, it's really great. I mean, we find great talent here. And if they, they, they would like to go international, obviously it's a discussion we have to have with them, with their parents. Then we send them, we, we send them internationally. So for us, it's, we, we keep contact with, uh, with international agencies, whether it's in New York, in London, in, in Paris, in Milan. And as soon as we have talent that we think they would be interested in, and that is like their type, we make, you know, we send them there and we, we sign a contract with them and then they represent them in that market. So we have a photo studio uh, in the agency and um, we actually have a variety of clients. We have, uh, since we are also, we live in Switzerland, it's a very commercial market. We have a lot of, uh, of kids um, and uh, the older uh, generation that come to take pictures. So it goes from like six months to 85 years old. And they come and they, yeah, they, they take uh, great pictures for their book. We also have people that don't necessarily want to be a part of the agency that come just because they want to have great pictures of their kids or, or as a family. So it's really a mix. We also um, have people that come because they need pictures for their CV. Some because they want great pictures for social media. We also have um, companies that want to have a, 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 you know, great shots for their, their corporate identity. So they come and, uh, and do that. Sometimes the photographer also goes to their, um, their company base and takes pictures there. Um, we, we also work with different uh, like shops and designers that also want to, uh, to have um, pictures of, uh, of their stuff. So they, they either come here or we shoot also with them. Um, yeah, so, um, so it's definitely a big part of Kaizen, the studio. At Kaizen, we have our, our, our modeling courses where we um, basically teach the models how to, uh, how to walk the runway. It's like super important to, to, know, to be comfortable when you go for casting and know how to walk. Um, also important is the, um, how to pose. I remember my first job as a model, I had to do a lingerie shoot. And uh, I thought it would just be me and the photographer, uh, but no. When I got on set, there were like ten people, and I had to, I had to like work different poses, and I was, I was shy. I wasn't comfortable. I, I wasn't sure what to do. So it's true for us. It's really important to teach the models like different poses, what to do with your hands, uh, how to tap into different emotions, and really get them ready. So when they do have that first job, their first experience, they feel comfortable. And, um, and also we teach them how to do makeup and hair, how to style that. Um, here in Switzerland, for example, the budgets are limited. So oftentimes the client will say to the model, uh, you know, you have to do your own hair and makeup before the shoot. So, so they are prepared and they know, you know, how to, uh, you know, how to do a nice smoky eyes or how to do a nice natural makeup. 
So it's really important to, yeah, to get them ready and confident for the, for the job. Um, so yeah, they learn how to pose, they learn how to do makeup, they, um, they learn how to walk and, uh, and also acting, which is really important because they say models are silent actors. So really teach them how to tap into different uh, personalities, personas and get in different emotions. And so yeah, it's really, a, it's a complete crash course on, uh, on, uh, on modeling. So it's, uh, yeah, it's great. I wish I had that. I mean, when I started uh, modeling, I did go and take classes when I was in the US, but they really focused on runway. So it's true, I was great. I was a great runway model, but when it came to, to posing, I did lack and I lost in the beginning some clients because they told my agency, oh, she's not, you know, she's not that good at posing. So I had to learn on the, on the, on the field, but it took me a longer time. Whereas if I had already learned, I would have been more, uh, more comfortable and I would have not lost certain big catalog clients initially. So I think it's really important to get the models ready. So we also have our uh, studio production where we produce shoots for, uh, for different people, for, for shops, for uh, young designers. And you know, today everybody needs so much digital uh, media uh, content that, uh, that it's important to constantly shoot. So we provide, you know, we provide the models, the videographer, the makeup artist, the photographer, like we put everything together, we package everything for them. And sometimes we shoot in the studio, sometimes we shoot uh, outside in a hotel or um, on loca different locations. So, um, so yeah, we also, we, for us it's, it's part of, it's like, you know, it almost goes into our booking work. Only instead of just booking models, we book also videographers and photographers and we put, we package everything together and we make sure that the production runs smoothly.